Let us come to the drum out of Babylon. Hobby horses foam, the dumb sky nor usher us glum. Watch the courses of the breakers, rocking horses, and with courses, Lady Venus on the settee of the horsehair sea. Well, Lord Tennyson in laurels wrote a glory of free. In a borealic ice became Victoria. She in New Prince Albert's tore memorial, took the colors of the floral, and the borealic ice were floating on the sea. We were risen, Madam Venus, for whose sake from far came the satin zebra emperor from Zanzibar. Well, like golden bouquets, lace are Asia, Africa, Keteo, lay before the shady lady by the fibroid shah. Captain Fracker stout as any water buck came Stood with sabacus, both a drink in the black tarred grapes blood Plucked among the tartan leafage by the furry wind Whose weefage could not wither like a squirrel with a gold star nut Queen Victoria sitting shocked upon the rocking horse Of the waves that to the laureate of links, of course Yet as sharp as any links and blacker, deeper than the drinks And quite as hot as any hot and hot without remorse For the mink, said she, and the drinks you could see Are as hot as any hot and hot and not the goods for me could never fall, I assure you, it would not do at all. She gets down from table without saying please, forgets her prayers and to cross her T's. In short, her scandalous reputation has shocked the whole of the hellish nation. And every turban chinoiserie with whom we should sip our black bohe would stretch out her simian fingers thin to scratch you, my dears, like a mandolin. For hell is just as properly proper as Greenwich or as Bath or just. What are you staring at, madam and ma'am? Wrinkled as sea sand and old as the sea. Those trains will run over their tails if they can. Snorting and sporting like porpoises. Flee, 
the burly, the whirly gig wheels of the train, as round as the world and as large again, running half the way over to Babylon, down through fields of clover to gay Troy town, a puffing their smoke as grey as the curl on my forehead, as wrinkled as sands of the sea. But what can that matter to you, my girl? But what can that matter to me? Jade with hair black as nightshade, warm as a cockade. Smooth, her eyes gasparade and her gowns parade as stiff as a brigade. <laughs> the heart and brain light is zebra black and white. It will take away the slight and free. Tinge the mouth organ sound, oyster store notes oozing round her flounces as they sweep the ground. The trumpet and the drum and the martial cornet come to make the people dumb. But we won't wait for slyfoot night, moonlight watered, milk white bright, to make clear the declaration of our tasty invocation. Beside the castroneted sea, where salt il capitano, swagger the braggadocio, sword and mustachio. He is green as a castada, and his hair is an armada. To the jade, come kiss me harder. He called across the battlements as she heard our voices thin and shrill as the steely glasses thrill for the sound of the Ionica when the polka has the pinka in the palace of the Queen Chinese. Palaces of the heat, Dolores, Ines, Manutia, Isabel, Lucia, mock time that flies. Lovely bird, will you stay and sing? Flirting your sheened wing, peck with your beak and cling to our balcony. They flirt, their fans flaunting. Oh, silence enchanting as music, then slanting their eyes. Like gilded or emerald grapes, they take mantillas, capes, hiding their simian shapes. Sighs each lady, our spadi is done. Dance the quadri from Hell's Tower to Seville. Surprise their siesta, Dolores says. Through gilded trellises of the heat, spangles pelt down through the tangles of bellflowers. Each dangles her castanets. Shutters fall while the heat mutters with sounds like a mandolin or tinkle tambourine. Lady. When 
dumb task. Kipo arrived at the seaside where the donkeys hide tide braid he saw the bandit old Joe in a black cape whose slack shape waved like the sea. Feet is broken, feet is no need to silver like the sea. The lovely cheat is sweet as foam, a road is no dish, the chee will steal the wheat king's luggage like Babel before the League of Nations grew. So Joe put the luggage and the label in the pocket of Flo the kangaroo. Through trees like rich hotels that bode of dreamless ease fled she. Carrying the load and goading the road to the marine seed into the sea. Don't be scared of the road is eloping. With your luggage grow heavy and large, you must follow and leave your moping. Right to my garden and charge. When dawn passed, Kito returned from the rose end where vanilla colored ladies ride. From Sevilla, his mantillaed bride and young friend were forgetting their mentor and guide. For the lady and her friend from Letuque, in the very shady trees upon the sand, were plucking a white satin bouquet of foam while the sun's brassy band. Don Pasquita hid where the leaves dripped with fruit, but a word stung him like a mosquito, for what they hear they repeat. Jumbo asleep, gray leaves thick furred at his ears, keep conversation blurred. Thicker than hide is the trumpeting water, John Pasquito's bride and his youngest daughter. Watch the leaves, elephantine gray. What is it breathes in the torrid day? Is it the animal world that snores harsh and inimical in sleepy form? And why? Should the spined flowers red as a soldier make Don Pasquito seem still moldier? In a room of the palace, black Mrs. And the wildest manner cried Mrs. Baymore, Come, 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 court lady, doomed like a moth through palace room shady. The candle flame seemed a yellow bombion, sharp as a scorpion. Nobody came, only a bugbear air. Kind, that Budford papoose, the young spring wine, blew out the candle. Still, where is it gone? To black or a man rolling on. Where the 
set us a chattering and soon a flattering glimpse of the forest in house. For the beauty of marrow and cucumber, narrow and series will join in the dance. But the satyrs can flatter the flatly fruit and the gurk and green and the marrow. Said Queen Venus, I lean us will settle between us the gold and the cucumber, narrow. See, like palaces hid in the lake, they shake those greenhouses shot by her arrow. Narrow, the gardener seizes the pieces like creases for gilding the pot in shed barrow. There, the radish roots and the strawberry fruits feel the nymphs high boots in the glade. Trampling and sampling mazurkas, kachukas and turkas crack over the axes in the shade. Where in the haycocks, the country nymphs gay flocks were gowns that are looped over bright yellow petticoats, gaiters of leather and pheasant tail feathers and straw hats bewildering many a leathern bat. Ah, there they hay, make cowards and wines and showers, the dew and the docks and bright flowers. Pumpkin and marrow and cucumber and arrow have grown through the spangled June hours. Melons as dark as caves have for their thunder waves, thick as gold honey and wrinkled as dark as panel. Old Silenus, yet useful as Venus, our gourds and the wrinkled figs whence all the jewels rang. Said Queen Venus, Silenus will settle between us, the nymphs disobedient forestall. With my bow and my quiver, each fresh evil lever, but I don't understand it at all. Rose and Alice, oh, the pretty lasses, with their mouths like a callus and their hair a golden pallet, through my heart like a lovely wind they blow. Though I am black and not comely, though I am black as the darkest spree, I have swarms of gold that will fly like honeybees. By the rivers of the sun, I will feed my word until they skip like those fleeced lambs. The waterfalls and the rivers horned ram. Then for all my darkness, I shall be the peacefulness of a lovely tree, a tree wherein the golden birds are singing in the darkest branches. Across the thick and the pastel snow, two people go. And do you remember when last we wandered this trail? Ah, no. For it is cold part of December. Dead, the leaves that like asses' ears hung on the trees when last we wandered and squandered joy here. Now Midas, your husband, will listen for these whispers, these tears for joys dear. And as they walk, they seem tall pagodas, and all the ropes let down from the clouds ring the hard, cold bell buds upon the trees. Codas of overtones, ecstasies, groans for love's shroud. Thank you.
That hobnailed goblin, the bobtailed hob, said his time may began to rob. The strawberry bob hobnob with the foes of cream like the curls of the dairy girl. And flushed with the heat and fruitish ripe are the gowns of the maid who danced to the pipe. Cheery maid, she's a babe. Go gather a bob cherry pick from a tree, but don't I pray they come bothering me, she said as she fled. The snouted satire drink clouted cream neath the chestnut trees as thick as a dream. So I went and met where none but the dogish coatish wind another my hand for what is kind of his name. I said, don't touch me, sir, don't touch me, I say. You'll tumble my strawberries into the sea. No snow mounds of silver that be. The spring has sought for sweetness, so my will bring with pear haired plants and with apple chill. For the great god pans I alter, I'll spill not one. So in fun, we rolled on the grass and began to run. Chasing that gaudy such how the sun over the haycocks away we ran, crying, Here be buried the sunburn of time. But Tylena, she'll see us. She runs like the rocks at our sun. She gapes at the end of still, where drawn in the box of the sailor, bow was the decks of the sea. And Nelson awoke, crowed like the cocks, then back to the docks I see. And Robinson Crusoe, Crusoe, the bright and foxy fear. But he finds the child in a negress smile, the foxy doxy dear. And they watch me dance to polka. In my top hat and my whiskers, that trill a lot of trap the fair. Cried the navy blue ghost of Mr. Bellaker, the allegro negro cocktail shaker. Why did the cock crow? Why am I lost? Down the endless road to infinity pass. The tropical leaves are briskly white as water. I raced the wind in my flight down the promenade. Edging the far off sand is the foam of the sirens. The soul and grand. As I race through the leaves as white as water, my ghost flowed over a nursemaid quarter, and there I saw the long grass wheat where the guinea fowl plumaged houses sleep, and the sweet ring doves of curded milk. Watch the enchanter gown of silk in the ghost room tall where the governante whispers slyly fading and dandy. In at the window then looked he, the navy blue ghost of Mr. Bellacre. The allegro negro cocktail shaker, and his.
it's flat and pays like the moon's motion. Rhinoceros black, yet flowing like the sea. Beyond the scene, the Ankh de Sheen, marine obscene horizon in hell, black as a bison. See the tall black aga on the sofa in the algamote, his bell rope, mustache, clear as a great bell, waves in 1880 bustles come. Late with tambourines, a rustling foam, they answer to the names of ancient dames and shames, and only call horizons their home. A coldly wheezed Chinese as these black armored fleas a dancer breezes seeking for horizons wide from her origins. In her wide vermilion pavilion by the seaside, the doors clang open and hide where the wind died. Nothing but the princess cockatrice loon dancing a caprice to the wind's tambourine. by the shore of the one grassy pool, talking once more near the swan-bosomed tree. Rose castles, Pharrell's, those bustles, where swells each home bell of ermine. They roam and determine what fashions have been and what fashions will be, what tartan leaves born, what crinoline leaves worn. <laughs> Queen Thetis, the list is of tarlatine blue, like the thin plaited leaves that the castle crag grew. Of velour de fronde on the water god's land, her hair seemed gold trees on the honey cell sand. When thickest gold spangles on deep water seen were like twanging guitar and like gold mandolin. And the lips of great caves with hair like gold waves of Venus wore tarlatine. Louise and Charlatine, boys and daughters, and the nymphs of deep waters, the nymphs de Lyon, greasy Leondine, wear plaided Victoria and thin Clementine, like the crinoline waterfalls. Wood nymphs wear bonnets, shawls, elegant parasols, floating our seas. The Amazons wear balzerine of jonquil beside the blonde lips of a deep falling wind. To glaze like a nun, they run from and shun the enormous and gold red rustling sun. And the nymphs of the fountains descend from the mountains like elegant willows on their deep barouche pillows. In Kashmir, Alvanda, Brage, Isabel, like bells of bright water from the clearest wood well. Our elegance, feathering bonnets of blonde, the stars in their aviaries, silks in their aviaries, seeing them spangly, and the silk swans from their aviaries stand with each long fluid hand. The marvelous Alion mimics the waterfalls over the long and the light summer land. So Daisy and Lily, lazy and silly, walk by the shore of the one grassy sea, talking once more near the swan's bosom tree. Rose castle to rest, those bustles for rest, the shade in their tree hollow. Ladies, how vain is hollow. Gone is the sweet swallow, gone is Philomel. <laughs> Bells of cream, green and babyish, 
Small leaves seen each stream Point to tales that fish And the chimes remind us Of sweet birds singing Like the jangling bells On rose trees ringing Man must say farewell To parents now And to William Tell And Mrs. Cow Man must say farewell To Stork and Bess And to Rose's Bell And statuettes Forests white and black In spring are blue with forget-me-nots and to lovers true still the sweet bird begs and tries to cousin them by angel eggs so by the dozen gone are cloud-like inns on the garden brinks and the mountain gins Ganymede sells drinks while the days seem grey and his heart of ice grey as chamois holds the edelweiss and the mountain streams like cowbell sound Deborah drowns in the waiter's dream who has gone beyond the forest waves while his true and fond ones seek their graves. Take a bath in Jordan Gordon on the Holy Sabbath on the peaceful day, said the huntsman playing on his old bagpipe, boring to death the pheasant and the snipe, boring the ptarmigan and grouse for fun, boring them worse than a nine bore gun till the flaxen leaves where the prunes are ripe, hear the tartan wind a droning through the pipe, and they heard MacPherson say, Where do the waves go? What hotels hide their bustles and their gay umbrellas, and would there be room? Would there be room? Would there be room for me? There is a hotel at Ostend, cold as the wind without an end, haunted by ghostly poor relations of Bostonian conversations, like bagpipes rotting through the walls. And there the pale ropes fall like shawls with a noise like marine waterfalls. And another little drink wouldn't do us any harm, pierces through the sabbatical calm, and that is the place for me. So do not take a bath in Jordan Gordon on the Holy Sabbath on the peaceful day, or you'll never go to hell. Gordon McPherson, and speaking purely as a private person, that is the place, that is the place, that is the place for me. Lily a grady, silly and shady, longing to be a lazy lady, walk by the cupola's gables in the lakes, Georgian stables. In a fairy tale of the heat intense and the mist in the woods, when across the fence the children gathering strawberries are changed by the heat into negresses. Though their fair hair shines there like gold hair, planets, Calliope, Ia, Pomona, and Tyope, Echo, and Clio. Then Lily O'Grady, silly and shady, sauntered along like a lazy lady. Beside the wave, haycocks her gown with tucks was of satin, the colour of shining green ducks. And her folder roll, parasol, was a great gold sun, or the acock shiny. But she was a negress, black as a shade, that time on the brightest lady laid. That a saddle dog haired as trunks of trees. Began to flatter, began to tease. And she rang up the nymphs with golden foot that trampled the strawberry buttercup roof in the thick gold dew as bright as the mesh of dead Penelope's golden flesh. May from the music whence were born, members from peas in the first hot moon, and ran to wake in the lake where the water's ripples seemed hanging to rank. 
And Charlatine had a lean round rose bubble in Victorine And the other fish expressed a wish for mastic mammals And gowns with a swish and bright and slight as the poses Of buttercups and the roses and buds of the wildwood lilies They chase her as frisky as fizz The red retriever head satire can whine and tease her and flatter But Lizzie O'Grady, silly and shady, in the deep shade is a lazy lady Now Pomp is dead, Homer's red, Helio Gabalus lost his head And shade is on the brightest wing and duck forbids the birds to sing and shocking the barmaid. Nobody comes to give him his rum, but the rim of the sky is not fun to miss glum. And how's it the chance to bless with the bandits and Alfred for tennis and crossing the barley to cold education from pale deputations of temperance workers all find his memorial, hoping with glory to trip up the glorious seat, moving in classical meter. Like Balaclava, the lava came down from the roof and the sea through wood and gendarmery took them in charge while the earth of a roar for his rum. <laughs> 